I'm watching Amanda Pete on Letterman. I wish I had a clip of this. J.D., maybe you could get it. She's droning on. Same with Gwyneth Paltrow. They, they clearly go on there and have nothing to talk about. And they are pleased as punch with themselves. I <laughs> don't think they should be any more entertained. Yeah, they don't think they should offer up a story. They don't care. This Amanda P. drives me fucking nuts. First of all, <laughs> she was promoting the movie. What's the movie we were promoting? Uh, please Give. Please Give, it's called, okay? Now, I'm sure it's Please Give is a very small, independent film, as they say. I am sure that the producers have very little money. This movie matters to them more than anything. Please and getting please. a shot on Letterman is a big deal. Big deal. Amanda P. goes on, and Dave says to her, so, tell, so he does a whole long, boring interview with her because she's got nothing to say. It's not Dave's fault. And he does this whole thing. And finally, he says to her, so what's the movie about? She goes, Dave, the movie's a... <laughs> Dave goes, what's wrong? Well, the movie's about... <laughs> What's she laughing about? She's mentally ill. <laughs> let, 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 listen to me. Here's what happened. She could give a shit about this movie. She probably doesn't care about the movie. She knows no one's going to see the movie. And rather than sell them, you know how, you, like, when you have to describe the plot of a movie? Right. It was a fake laugh, as fake as what I'm doing there. She was cracking herself up. She couldn't get out the details of what the movie's about. So Dave finally goes, all right, let's just roll the tape. They roll this wow. fucking piece of tape. It, it, there was no setup. It was horrible. They came back and Dave said goodbye to her. She didn't promote the movie. Can you imagine if you're a producer who put up millions yeah, that's of gotta dollars? Kill you. you gotta be, you see, oh my God, I finally get this witch on the show and she goes on and she just fucked it up for us. <laughs> what a cunt. I mean, honest to God. You know, I respect people in America who take risk. And I, I respect financial people. Anyone who ever hired me at a radio station, I gave it my all. I swear to God, even when I would get in trouble, I'd say to them, I'm only trying to do good for you. I'm trying to bring attention to our station. And sometimes they point out to me, you know what, Howard? You're not helping us because you're, you're so overboard, we can't even sell your show. But I did it with a good heart. I did it to promote my radio station because I appreciated getting the job. And this Amanda Pete is on with Letterman, and he and he says to her, what is the movie about? She fucks it up. She did phony actress laughing. I'm telling you, it's an it was an actress moment. You fucking bitch! What a, what a bitch. You know, hey, Paul, can you imagine if you put up what if you even put up a hundred thousand dollars? You mortgaged your house to make this movie, and this the actress gets on Letterman. He goes, "What's it about?" And she goes like this: "Dave, it's about you. See, there's this guy who." <laughs> you know what? How it's the most phoniest thing ever. Phony, phony, baloney actress bullshit, lazy. Because you know what? She never had to put up a dime. Put up a dime. Well, I bet you if she put up her own money, she wouldn't have laughed through the explanation of what the movie is. She would have been, Dave, this is a great movie. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. I know it hasn't gotten a lot of attention in the press. If anyone can go see, please give. Get on there. you got to see the, you know, something like this. If she put up her own money, that fucking cunt wouldn't sit there and laugh <laughs> about the plot of the movie. I guarantee fucking tea it. Because they're all witches and, and spoiled brats. Guarantee you she grew up rich. Karen fucking tear it when you've got nothing, no money, nothing. That's when you're on there. Dave, wait till you hear this. Wait till you hear how great my new movie is. No, she couldn't do that. Anybody who hires her is an asshole. <laughs> I tell you, I wouldn't hire her to do shit. You don't know anything about my movie. her, do you? I don't know a thing about her. I would love to know if she grew up rich. Hey, I Karen fucking um, tear it. Research it, Robin. I will. Please. Howard. Yeah. Um, Speaking of nothing. I know um, a rich person. I know a person who grows up rich. Money doesn't matter to us. Oh, you're so hung up on money. God damn right. Ever live without it? It ain't easy. It's rough. Oh, it's, it's really rough. When your kids want something nice and you want to send them to college, it's pretty fucking rough. You grew up with a fucking goddamn silver spoon in your mouth. Garen fucking to you. I can pick them out like I smell them out.
Howard, uh, I'm just curious. Speaking of being rough. Um, Here, I'm father corporate some... lawyer. Boom. Told ah, you. <laughs> no. okay. Father corporate lawyer. What I tell you? What I tell you? What I tell you? When I'm watching this thing, I was going here. here. Oh, wait. hey, JD, has, but Paul, hold on. Listen to this clip. Here, so here, here's the here's the clip. Uh. <laughs> uh, Amanda, let's uh, talk about the film. Uh, it's it's called Please Give. She's already you laughing. and Catherine. She's already laughing. Right. She got it all lined up. Seen her in the in the film. Yes, Which I mean, is, Rebecca I think, Hall and yeah, and um, Oliver Platt. Oliver Platt. Great Sarah cast. Steele. Yeah. Uh, tell people what it's about, please. Um, Catherine Keener and Oliver Platt. Go, Amanda. Sell. Um. <laughs> you hear that? You know. Go, Amanda. Sell. She's going to prove to Dave how cool she is. Well, you know what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just keep listening. Go, Amanda. Sell. That's right, Amanda. Sell. That's what you do. You know what? It's called show business. It's a business. And you're the star of the movie. And just because you're ashamed you're not in a fucking big movie like Iron Man, don't take it out on the producer of this film. Who put well, up they do say she time. waitressed. Yeah, she waitressed all right. Because that's what actresses do. My parents made me waitress for a month. Big fucking deal. I guarantee she was a disaster. You're not going to believe it. This guy's ordering me to do things. Yeah, that's what waitresses do. I had to wait on cable. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> we heard that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, they, uh, they, I'm, I've foggy brain right okay. now. They, uh, they, they, uh, she can't remember the movie. She doesn't remember the movie. She doesn't remember what the movie's about. Well, then you probably won't either. Yeah, watch. They want that there's a... Oh, my God. There's a... <laughs> Listen to the fake laughter. I have no business being here. No, no, well... <laughs> I'm the one who has no business being here. But no, it's uh, uh, sisters and uh, their uh, 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 the neighbors waiting for uh, someone to die so they can move into the Catherine apartment. Here, yes, they want the old lady mm -hmm. to die. Who's my grandma? <laughs> yeah, you're going to go see this movie now. It's hilarious. Yeah, she's, she's laughing at the movie. Oh, I'm she's, so, she's I'm, basically I'm broadcasting to you that it's a piece of shit. And you know what? That's not fair to the producer. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You know what? It's a fake laugh. <laughs> We're fine. Let's... I'm cracking myself up. It's a fake laugh. It's an actress move. I've dated actresses. They all got that fake goddamn laugh. They know how to put... When you're with an actress and she starts crying and telling you she loves you, head for the fucking hills because you'll never believe her. It all looks like right out of a movie. You can, you can smell it. You can smell a fake and a phony. You poor people. Let's look at the uh, clip and then we'll, we'll talk about it when we come back. <laughs> It's just this funny. <laughs> yeah, we'll be uh, here. It is. So they, please, uh, please give. Uh, it's fine. How often does David Letterman even allow you to explain what a clip is about? He's not very tolerant of that stuff. And here she's given a primo opportunity to finally big interview. The producer was probably sitting there going, "Oh, thank God she's going on Letterman. Maybe this will sell a few tickets." All right. I, he I've can't even, get himself on Letterman. I, I believed in this girl. I put money into this girl. I paid her to be in the movie, and I bet she paid her a good dime. Probably mortgage this fucking house. And then she gets on. Oh, 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 oh Dave, I'm cracking myself up. Oh, 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 oh. oh, it's so funny. Yeah, basically dismissed the entire movie. I, I was pulling the hair out of my head. Dave's got to tell what it's about. Yeah, imagine Dave had to explain what the movie's about. That's not his job. And, and he's not going to sit there. He doesn't care if this guy makes money with his film. Could you imagine this girl? Who gives this girl money to be in movies? She should be a goddamn corporate lawyer like her old man. Go do that. Well, you know, Don't be Beth, my lawyer. Beth did a lot better job on Letterman than she Look, did. Beth went on. She told some stories. She did a nice job. And Dave was very, very nice to her. Yes. It, was, it was a fun interview, uh, I thought. I thought it was very nice. But I, I don't think there were two people awake in the audience after that uh, Brian Williams character went. <laughs> That's terrible. I mean, my own. I mean, we're still going through that clip.